All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're going to be playing to Cleveland. You guys have been requesting some cruiser gameplay, specifically the Cleveland. There have also been requests for heavy cruisers, cruisers, and many other things that have the word cruiser in them. So I had to play the Cleveland. And this bad boy, this thing is, it's, it's a beast, quite frankly. Pardon my French, but quite frankly, it's a beast. Um, man. So what do we got? We got four triple turrets, and we'll we'll go over the armor overlay and like you know the all the stats after the battle. But um, I'm pretty excited. This is gonna be an interesting battle because they have superior numbers. But I think we've got. I don't really know how it works. You know, it's CBT and it's late at night, so like the matchmaking is you know it has to work some magic right now. Because since it's CBT, the player base is low. Since it's late at night, the player base is low. And, um, you know, everyone's grinding them tiers, so there isn't a high saturation of, like, you know, tier 6s, tier 7s, etc., etc. But this thing is basically a DPM machine. At tier 6, I'd be pretty confident in going toe to toe with about anything, save for, um, you know, a Fuso, the Fuso tier 6 Japanese battleship. That's one thing. We got we got a little bit of a glitch. I wonder if it's my drivers, man. I'm having some issues with my drivers, but I got I got to put together my new computer. <clears throat> I've been sitting on that for like a while now. But um, I was talking to my buddy Fly Daily. You guys know him. We all love him. Check out his channel if you don't know who he is and you're sleeping under a rock. But um, he's getting on the NA server tomorrow. We're gonna be playing some with Argyle. I'm really looking forward to that. Look at that Fuso in the back. It's like you what, mate? But I think my range here seems to be about 15 kilometers, uh, roughly. Maybe just under 15 kilometers. And this thing's fully upgraded. It did take a while. And late at night, you get some screwy matchmaking. And that's generally when I play my Cleveland, so I'm doing it wrong. But I, but Fly was like, you know, what do you, what do you enjoy about the game? And I'm like, honestly, I'm pretty, I'm like, if this is a girl, man, I would date her. You know what I mean? Like, she's got, she's got it all right now. I'm enjoying my time with her. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get a little serious. But, like, the only gripe I have with the game right now, like, this, the biggest gripe I have is that you can't buy gold. And I would only buy a little bit just to buy, open up, like, one or two more slots. So, I could keep some ships without having to, like, sail, or sell, sell them, not sell, <laughs> you know, sell them. To buy new ones so I can sail them. But oh Mr. Omaha within range. Where are you headed? You are behind a a mountain. Let's just see if any of those hit. That was purely but see, this is a DPM machine because it's got fantastic guns and it reloads so quickly. So this is all like, I don't know when are these going to hit, like he's moving pretty quickly, he's a cruiser. These guns have to travel an exceptional amount of distance. Are those my shells? I guess so. I thought they were someone else's for some reason. I just shot under him. Um, gotta make sure I don't run into Mr. Fuso here. Is he, is he turning? No, he's turning to get around. I believe, is he taking a hard left? Honestly, if he's taking a hard left, I, I gotta kind of accommodate that, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I could cut throttle and go in behind him, and I think I'm going to do that, because I want to... Actually, there's a me. Yeah, definitely. Whoops. Accidentally alt-tabbed because I hold alt, and then I hit tab. Miyogi's a tier 4, so that is someone I would definitely be comfortable going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Um, if he hits me, he can, he can definitely kill me pretty easily. But I've got speed, and I've got a high rate of fire, so if he misses a couple, uh, you know, I've got pretty decent margin of error to find my range with how quickly I can reload. Plus he's got what, 45,000 health, he's down to 36,000, I've got 35,000 health. But it's mostly about the armor. You can't just trust hit points because um, that's what I really like about this is they kind of, you know, the damage models in a way, it's, it's hit points but there is a certain style of damage model to this in that there's the citadel pretty much everything else outside of the modules like turrets rudders people have been like ammo racked the equivalent of ammo racking right they hit a magazine they detonate it magazine goes boom ship goes boom 
I've seen some people. I don't think it's happened to me before. Is this guy... He's going to... I mean, Cleveland's got a pretty nice butt. You can't really blame him. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those, like, hey, stop it. Like, you got to respect who I am as a person. But I got such a nice body. Like, I don't know. It's not right, but he did it. You know what I mean? And we're on the same team, so let's let's just... We won't mind that he spanked me. I'll talk to him after. Be like, please be a gentleman about it. Rude. Mr. ROTC Cadet. Yeah, he's at ROTC Cadet. You know, he's a little lonely. Come on, give him a break. All right, Mr. Omaha. Enough silly analogies. We're just going to fire randomly. Hope we hit. Not expecting anything out of it. I'll do that a lot. Um, especially at anything other than a battleship. Battleship, you have to take careful, you know... You have to definitely pick. It looks like that Miyogi is being smart. If you look at the minimap, he's running. But this thing is an amazing fire rate. So if anything's within range, I'll take speculative shots all day, because why not? Ooh, Miyogi is running slowly. It says... Okay, yeah. He's in between these islands hiding. It looks like he may be on fire. Yeah, I think he's on fire. He's slowly losing health. We might see him in the bottom right. Right now, yep. Mr. ROTC Cadet, after spanking me, has decided to spank the enemy. Here's the Miyogi. He's going that way. I don't think he's m moving, actually. Sometimes there's a little a glitch that they're working on. We got incoming shells. Let's see what happens. Can he range me? We actually got a hit. We actually hit him, oddly enough. I wasn't really... Oh, yeah, he is on the move. There's still a lot of stuff they're working on. It's closed beta. I'm okay with it. That was another thing is like, shit, man. The way this plays right now, I like it. Got a few more hits. Finally getting some hits. Let's see, can we? Yeah, it's... See, I just said I'll take speculative shots all day, but I'm pretty confident I'll miss those. Actually, that was kind of dumb. I should have taken them. I should have listened to my own advice. And who's Mr. Nicholas? Is he in range? No, he's on the other side of that dang island. These kind of remind me of the islands in Jurassic Park. I don't know why. Oh, you mean they're like tropical and green and highly mountainous? Yeah. You know, like, if you think about it, this is kind of off topic, but it's fun. All right, Miyogi, I can hit him. Is, um, if you think about it, a lot of times when you think of, like, islands, or if you were to Google, like, tropical island, I think a lot of times you'd actually see an island in the Pacific and not one in the Caribbean. Even though the Caribbean's pretty famous, especially for us in North America, because it's so proximate, you know, it's pretty easy to get over there. I should have started turning in earlier. But I'm thinking about tropical islands, I get a little distracted. But if you were to search tropical island or, like, beautiful island or amazing island, I think most of them you'd see are either, like, in the Indian Ocean or the Pacific, because, God, they're just so gorgeous. He's running away. We're actually losing, and they have more numbers than us, so this is... We've actually lost two Tier 7s, including our battleship. I think he's doing it wrong, guys. I think he might be doing it wrong. We have incoming torpedo bombers. I'm actually kind of excited if they come towards me. Oh, man, I should... Are we opening fire? Yeah, I'm going to hit that Y ability. And my anti-aircraft should... I mean, I'm expecting to shoot down a plane. But they were kind of at range. Damn. If we were closer, playing more of a traditional escort, we probably could have shot a decent amount of those planes down. If they if they were within a kilometer of me, I think we would have we would have definitely wrecked and shrecked a bit. Now they're flying over the mountains back to the carrier. We could go carrier hunting potentially. Aha, Mr. Omaha's running. You're cute. See look how fast we reload. Let's see how good those are. I should have kept it so that I could slightly adjust, but I didn't in my zeal. Is that incoming battleship fire? Those look like hits. Unless he's turning away from them. Which he is. And I'm firing short again. This is the fun game. If you really want to be good at evading. Um, like turn in two different planes. Like on your X and Y. I guess is that it? Or Z? Is Z height? I don't even know these things. But basically. You know turn in, in a diagonal way. Like away. And to the side. It'll make yourself rather difficult. 
And we're just not very accurate today. So we're kind of playing it out. Got such a good fire rate. I think we'll probably sink this guy. Yep. <laughs> Don't you love it, ladies and gentlemen? I think we're going to sink this guy. Oh, Mr. Miyogi, you're so cute. Oh, and he's engaging someone else. This is a perfect situation where he's engaged with someone else, and we're just going to shell this guy. Look at this. Just AP rounds. We're actually going to slow my throttle if you look in the lower left. We're going to aim. We want to hit the super, like, the superstructure, man. Like, down low. And if we pen, we could potentially, since he's a tier 4, we might get hits to the Citadel. That's what we're going for, ideally. He just took a big hit. But we're going to be able to get a lot of hits here. Look at that. It's still tracking him because... They're hitting so quickly. I'm getting like, what, I'm at 28 hits in the, the right? Lower right? Ooh, there we go. There's a critical hit on the turret. We're going to go down to a quarter. I'm going to check the minimap. There's no one else around, and he's not aiming at me, so I'm pretty secure and safe. He's within four kilometers, so he might ram me at some point. That's a possibility. No incoming planes, it looks like, or else I'd use my ability. Alright, now I'm going to start aiming low. Oh, he's, he's engaging me with his secondaries, which are automatic. Now, my friend is sailing in front of him, but it's fine. Look at that. Enemy warship destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. Now, let's... Oh, shit. But they're going to win by cap. Which is unfortunate, but... I was kind of expecting us to get absolutely wrecked. But you could see how... Quite, you know, after a kind of sluggish start, with regards to how many hits we were getting, we just racked them up on a good target of opportunity. And I don't think you get any experience for almost capping. And we have no one over there to... Unless someone pens him, which is what that battleship should be trying to do. We actually... We actually... Ooh, it's a Fuso. At 17. I'm within his range, I'm pretty sure. And then there's a Ranger over there. So, assuming my teammates can continue to pen him. Oh, did you see that? Holy shit. Guys. Oh, use the ability. I should have seen I should have seen that earlier. I was distracted. There's so much going on, there's so much to process. It's easy to like kinda sit there in the chair like and I do this all the time when I watch other people um, making videos and I'm like, man, why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do this? But like when you're in the heat of battle, right? That's what kinda separates the men's for the for men from the boys and you know, people like Achilles from the Average Warriors is just the ability to process everything. I think we might win this one. Hell yeah! So I gotta make sure I don't get capped. So who's someone that might cap me? This Fuso is behind a mountain. So I just gotta make sure I don't, you know, sail. I almost said swim. Isn't that funny? I'm trying to think real quickly. That's A lot of people have noticed this, actually. Like, people in the comments sometimes are like, Why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? And other people are like, He's actually trying to commentate at the same time. Which, I tell you what, it is a skill. And like any skills, you pick it up over time. So we might win this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do I have an ability? I didn't use that fucking ability. I'm gonna get about to get dive-bombed. It might affect... Go to full throttle and start zigzagging and hope they miss. I'm assuming they're... Yeah, I'm a cruiser. I would go for me, too. Oh! See, dive bombers at this point, I think that's something they're going to need to work on. I shot down some planes. I didn't even have my ability. If I had my ability, I might have been able to knock them all out. Ladies and gentlemen, how just... How satisfying is that? I thought we were going to lose. Come from behind victory. And not a bad game. This is my first Cleveland game of the evening. Oh my god, I had one the other day, and I tweeted out, um, I'm pretty sure I tweeted out, that's not too bad, two kills, three planes, let's check a detailed report, I tweeted out the results, I think I got like 161 hits on my Cleveland, because you saw the fire rate, you gotta see it, um, you know, a pretty good example on that Miyogi, which was this guy, the Vindictus, unfortunately, you were my prey, shot down this guy's planes, but we didn't. We weren't able to get in range of him because I was distracted at the end. But my secondaries did 870 damage. I would imagine those 
Were my secondary batteries opening up on that battleship? They may have been. 23,000 damage, not a whole lot, but we did pretty good with regards to, like, we got an assisted in the base capture, and it was, you know, the conquest game mode where you got to take their base. That was pretty thrilling um, with regards to, like, I thought they were going to win. My teammates did just what they had to do, and me and my friendly battleship were in position to seize the day and seize the cap point. So you guys requested the cruiser gameplay. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cleveland American cruisers, stuff like that. You guys asked for it. We did it. Please, please, please let me know what you'd like to see next. Pull the trigger on the like button. Share the video with a friend. It really helps me out. And I think it's fun to kind of bring more exposure to, you know, the game that is like a girlfriend. But, you know, I got another girlfriend. Her name is War Thunder. It's one of those, man. I guess I'm, I guess I'm not monogamous. But, you know what? You do what you can. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon.